Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create an USB bootable for macOS along with open core. Before doing this you need to know your system information. If you don't know your system information please watch my previous video how to find your uh, own system information like a processor and igpu motherboard and etc in this video i will focus on creating an usb bootable of mac os with open core and we will collect the kicks and drivers which is necessary for our motherboard and the processor and we need to make the ssdts after that in the next part we will uh, go over modifying the config.py list which is very daunting and also take a long time so i plan to uh, make a separate video for config.py list and uh, after that we will try and we will try to boot into mac os by using open core and if not uh, we will troubleshoot and fix some errors and then we will proceed with post installation in this video i am focusing on creating bootable usb collecting kex and drivers and creating ssdts and where to put all these things okay let's start by creating our uh, bootable usb just plug in your USB. You need a USB of 8GB or higher. Just open up the open core guide and click on get started. As I am using Windows, I am going to making the USB installer in Windows. Uh, here it shows how to download macOS officially from uh, Apple. I am going to download. Uh, here it recommends 4GB USB stick. Uh, sorry about that. You can, you can also use 4GB USB stick. Just click on GIP Mac OS. Just uh, download this as zip. I'm going to extract it to its, to its own folder. Let's go into it. And we need to run GIP Mac OS. Just right click on it. Run, at admi run as administrator. After this is being displayed, we can scroll down. And here you can see that there are many options. We are going to toggle to recovery only mode because if you are using a 4gb usb stick it is necessary to download only the recovery since it is a uh, very small in size if you download the entire operating system it will take around 8gb or 9gb so for minimal installation go with the recovery i'm going to toggle to recovery only mode now once it is done we'll go back to the similarly looking page and in this i'm going to download mac os catalina full install here you can see the number 4 has the latest macOS build which also shows full install. You need to download the full install. If you download any other things, you can't fully install the macOS. So scroll down and the number 4 hit enter. It will download the recovery from the Apple server to your machine. It will be downloaded to the same folder in which your uh, GIP macOS is located. If you know, if you need to find the download file, go into macOS download public releases macOS Catalina and here is your file which is being downloaded. Once the download is done, it will show you where the file is located. You can hit enter to return and we can quit this. After that's done, now go back to give macOS master folder. Here you can see make install.bat. Right click on the same and run it as administrator. It will show your USB disk. What you need to do is enter the number of your removable disk. For me, it's two. You need to select O which uses open core instead of clover i'm going to press o and then hit enter if you proceed with this step every data in your usb will be deleted i'm going to hit s and now we need to paste the path of the the downloaded pkg file go to give mac os master mac os downloads public releases and here is the file select the file click on home and click on copy path go back to the command prompt and just right click it will paste the exact path of the uh, file and hit enter it will take a while i am going to uh, skip this if you got anything like this it is fine because uh, windows does not recognize this format click on cancel once done it will uh, show this information and uh, hit enter and close this command prompt when you go to your usb drive it will be shown as shown as boot and once you open it, you will have an EFI folder with uh, the necessary files. Go into OC, APCI, it should be empty. Bootstrap file should have only bootstrap.efi. 
drivers you know you don't need all of this but drivers i'm going to show you later kicks i think should be the tools also we don't need this many tools okay our boot disk is now ready but we can't boot it because we need to add some acpi and other things just uh, minimize it and go to the open core guide making the installer in windows is successful now we can scroll down and we can gather some uh, necessary files you can also use pecky and uh, aida64 also to find the hardware specification of your system okay now let's proceed with gathering some files we need hfs plus ef open core runtime dot efi the open core runtime dot efi is already in the yes i'm going to delete all this except open runtime dot efi after that is done uh, download this hfs plus efi i'm going to cut it and paste it in the efi oc drivers folder after pasting hfs plus dot efi uh, head back to the open core guide and let's have a look what we need other than this if you are legacy users uh, you need to use this i'm not going to go through the entire guide i'm skipping many steps if you are new to this hackintosh build i recommend you to read entirely which is necessary for you just don't blindly uh, imitate what i do because i am i have already read all this the open core uh, installation guide so i'm skipping many steps if you are new you should read the guide before doing anything in your system i don't need any other uh, efi files in kex we need a virtual smc which will emulate the smc chip in uh, mac os we need lilu without that any of the kex will not work and we need whatever green which is for graphic we also need apple alc for our audio if you have a, any other internet chipset in your motherboard select accordingly i'm going to go with 8111 because i have 8111 gigabit ethernet in my motherboard if you are using a aslock motherboard like me you need to use this usb inject all and also i have an uh, older cpu than the skylake iv bridge is two gener generation uh, older than uh, skylake so i need that i don't need this i don't uh, have an uh, wi-fi or bluetooth connect to my system if you are interested in uh, buying an uh, wi-fi and uh, bluetooth card i really recommend you to follow this uh, wireless buying guide in this uh, open core uh, installation guide and i will discuss about wi-fi and bluetooth in my post installation video apart from that everything is fine here if you are using in laptops you need to add a uh, laptop specific drivers after this let's go and download this kex files do not download the debug.zip download only release.zip files and uh, this is whatever green and this is a, a apple alc and this is for uh, real tech internet this is a uh, usb inject all if you have an aslock motherboard you should need to use this uh, this is virtually smc text file okay once that is done here are all the zip files which we have downloaded i am going to create a new folder in the desktop to hold the hold these zip files after this uh, just uh, open this and drag and drop the text files alone if you see any li anything like this open the mac os x folder and you will see the text file lying around you need to drag and drop only the apple alc.kext not the other files in virtual smc uh, you have many text files and we need only virtual smc.kext okay for a quick rundown apple alc is for real tech uh, audio lilu is uh, mandatory this is for internet this is for uh, faking the processor and this is for faking the fan speed this is for uh, usb this is to fake uh, our computer as a mac and this is uh, needed to make the graphic shocking so we have uh, eight files we are going to copy this and paste it to our usb boot disk go into boot efi oc these are all kex files so we need to put it in the kex folder we can go back to our uh, tools folder we only need open core shell dot efi i'm going to delete all other things once you are done collecting the drivers and kext the driver folder will look like this this is to make our motherboard to read hfs files this is a open core specific file and the kext folder should only have our collected uh, kext files if you have any other things 
just delete it also you need to do your own research to collect the text files something working for me does not mean it will work for you also okay next we can create our apci head over to the open core guide again scroll down click on ssdts okay, here for an iv bridge processor we need cpu pm ssdt and uh, ssdt hyphen ec according to this guide cpu pm is not required initially for installing the mac os once we have successfully installed the mac os we can generate the cpu pm ssdt okay now i will show you how to generate the ssdt hyphen ec head over to getting started with acpi we don't need to use the pre-built ssdts because uh, it will uh, take too much long time to boot into mac os so we are going to make the ssdt by the easy way there is a project called SSDT Times. We are going to use that. Just uh, click on that link and download this as a zip file. I am going to extract it to its own folder. Go into the folder and here we are going to run this SSDT time.bat file. Run as administrator. Now I am going to dump my SSDT. Hit 7 and press enter. And enter. We need only a uh, fake EC, but I am going to generate a fixed edge pet. Press 1 and hit enter, and hit enter, and enter. Press 2, enter, enter. We don't need that uh, plug type, so I am going to skip that. If you are using any other hardware or uh, any latest generation of uh, processor, you can also generate the SSDTs by using the same. Uh, first, you need to dump your DSDT and you can generate any of these SSDTs. I'm going to uh, quit it. Just click on type and we need only the AML files, SSDT AML files to be specific. As shown in the guide, we need the SSDT SSDT hyphen uh, EC dot AML, but I also need the SSDT hyphen HPET because uh, my motherboard needs that. I'm going to add only SSDT hyphen EC.AML. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back to this uh, OC folder in my USB. Open the ACPI. I'm going to paste it. Now I am done with the SSDTs, drivers, kext. Now I need to add a config.plist file. To get that file, open up your browser, click on uh, search for open core pkg and click on here you can see the open core package bootloader's original repository in Azirantra. Click on releases. You need to download the latest release. Open the folder, extract to its own folder open it here you can see the docs folder if you need any sample apcis you can compile this and use it in your build copy the sample dot list and paste it to your boot this oc and paste it we are going to rename it as config dot plist once this is done we need to configure our uh, config dot plist modifying the config dot plist is a long process and i am going to dedicate a video for that i made this video to just give an uh, overview of the installation process by using open core and specifically for iv bridge processor if you have any other latest processor you can follow some other guides there are tons and tons of uh, open core guides in youtube you can use anything once you have done all this you have a uh, only one step which is uh, just modifying the config.plist and once that is done you are done then we can proceed with our installation as i shown here once we have successfully modified our config.plist we can boot into mac os if you have any problem we can troubleshoot it okay that's it for this video hope you like this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you like my work hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching